All right. I'm assistant editor Julie Preble, and I am here with Jonathan Field, and I just got to see one of his clinics, and he talked about how horses have three responses, flight, fight, and freeze, and we all know fight and flight, but can you tell me a little bit more about freeze and how to get your horse through that? Yeah, yeah uh, like I said, out in the clinic, uh, we had you know a couple of uh, different horses. One was very challenging, and you know he would he would when he started to move, he would way over move. He would you know buck around there and tear around pretty wild. And I said that's because of this freeze response. Horses have these three responses, and so often we talk about the, you know the the dominance or the fight of a horse. You know they push into pressure, they might bark, they might kick, might bite. And of course, we always talk about flight. My horse is scared and he spooks from things, self, self-preservation. But the freeze one is, is equally important. And freeze just means that they lock up. And it's a very uh, commonly, probably the most used self-defense mechanism a horse has is to freeze. And as a result of that, what they do is it's kind of like let the predators let go a little bit. So they freeze or they might get missed when something goes past them in the bush. So they, they go absolutely still. Well, when they freeze, it's like there's a turmoil of energy inside that builds. And as that builds, when that first step happens, they do way more. And you're like, where did all that energy come from? That's from all that coming from inside. I said, uh, you know, anybody that started the cold always knows that first step is so important. You get on a horse and they won't get that first step. And the longer it takes, it might be building, building, building. And finally, the first step comes in, boom, they go. That all has to do with the freeze response. The way to, the way to, uh, uh, to solve this is to get the feet moving. The horse can't lie when his feet are moving. So it's to free him up. And, and we did with this case, this horse would let go and go, but then he'd go way too much because he was all pros and overreactionary. So I would simply stop him and ask him again and look for the little change that you could see when he started to go without all the extra energy. So I just literally had to send him, he would go way too big, I'd bring him back, resend him, not trying to contain him, not trying to slow him, just allow him to get going and come back. When I could see him go more naturally, then I was like, hey, that now that was no freeze response there, no pent-up energy, so then I'd, I'd, I'd let him have a break. 